You guys remember walnut chin? Doing the walnut chin where you go like that and your chin crinkles up and looks like a walnut. I can't do it anymore because I have a beard. But uh, for those of you with no hair on your chin, do the walnut chin and look at it. It looks like a walnut. It's really fun. I don't know if you remember doing that as kids along with flipping your eyelids back and stuff like that. Anyway, speaking of nuts, no, uh, peanut butter. Uh, big fan of peanut butter, love it. You know, just always assumed it was benign. Got ready to put some snacks together for our cleansing diet and said, hey, peanut butter and uh, celery sticks. And, of course, we know to, uh, you know, avoid hydrogenated oils, partially hydrogenated oils. Before putting it in Alicia's lunch, I looked at the little Jif peanut butter, fully hydrogenated oil. Nix, it's out of there. Bad, bad. Anyway, the whole cleansing diet's going okay. Uh, it ends on the 21st. 21st is our last day. So the main things, you know, no meat, no dairy, no alcohol, no sugar, lots of fresh veggies. Anyway, I was talking about freak angels yesterday because I was reading them. Let me just give you the pitch real quick. It's from Warren Ellis in Avatar Comics. 23 years ago. Twelve strange children were born in England at exactly the same time. Six years ago, the world ended. Today, eleven strange 23-year-olds are living in and defending Whitechapel, maybe the last real settlement in flooded London. This is the story of what happened next. Anyway, <clears throat> cool. Oh, there, I did it again. Okay, I promise. Very cool comic. I picked up the first three trades at the library, devoured them. Very cool. Kind of strange. Kevin, Kevin uh, Coffin, you might enjoy this. But if you can't find them at your library, there's another way to read them. But first, let me go into how I discovered that. They're very dark, darkly printed. So I, I'm reading them, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and get these other ones. From the, I got the first three. I'll get whatever other ones from the other libraries that I'm connected to. So I'm finishing up on number three, and I thought, well, I better get the other ones before I finish. Nah, there's not going to be a cliffhanger. Wrong! Check this out. See this? That's one of the main characters down there at the bottom. And above her is somebody with a big bat or something. And then here's the very last panel. Is that person. Hello, Caitlin. So that kind of ticked me off. And... Then I went to FreakAngels.com and discovered the origin of this comic is, is that it's an absolutely free, free webcomic. Absolutely free. Six pages come out every Friday. So I started with the first three trade paperbacks, read them, loved them, and now I'm going online and reading book four and five. Uh, so FreakAngels.com, check it out. It's neat stuff. The printing's a little darker than I would like. It's kind of hard to read, but not too bad. So here's another one. You ever get songs stuck in your head? Here are three that have been stuck in my head lately. Um, and I probably have some of the lyrics wrong. Ooh, I hear laughter in the rain. So laughter in the rain, whatever that one is. Here's another one. And this is weird because I'm not a religious fellow, but I do love bluegrass music quite a bit. And the two overlap often. Uh, are you washed in the blood of the lamb? I don't know. I've had it in my head for weeks. I've looked at different versions of it online. It's a great song. Are you washed in the blood of the lamb? Uh, Google all these. Or not Google. YouTube them and check out the songs. And the other one is some old 80s tune. Uh, Let the music play. He won't get away. Da -da -da, and he'll come back to you someday. Let it go! Do -do 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 so, three songs you should check out on YouTube, along with FreakAngels.com, are uh, Laughter in the Rain, Washed in the Blood of the Lamb, that's probably number one, and then Love Says. Alright guys, having a good time? Love you, love your show. Call me.